I'm going to be comparing a 100 watt LED floodlight to a 500 watt halogen light. I had seen some YouTube reviews of these products from Amazon and they weren't really good about the construction quality, light output, and in fact just how they're built. They commented that the ground wire is not always connected on them. So I'm going to check that as the first thing on. This seems pretty well made from the outside. The continuity tester here, I'll just uh, attach that to the ground wire coming from the ballast box and check the housing. Nothing. I'm not getting anything at all. So there definitely is a short circuit uh, in the ground wire at the very least. So opening up, have a look inside, and the first thing I see is that no, the ground wire is just hanging out there and it's not even pigtailed or attached to anything. In fact, there's no screws inside to attach it to anything. Everything is just glued. The other thing I notice is that it's got 250 watt ballast, so this is only 100 watt light, not 150 like I thought I was buying. Anyway, Amazon gave me a rebate of $10 to fix that. Still, $69, what do you expect? And that includes shipping. That was, you know, the price is right for sure. So I've attached it to the ground, soldered it to a copper strap that's going to be um, in a direct connection to the box. We'll seal that all up again, uh, make it weatherproof, and check out the continuity of the ground wire. The meter's working. Check that um, grounding wire out now on the ballast side of the box, and everything looks good. And we'll check the LED housing box next, and everything is connecting through to that. The existing 500 watt halogen is a, is a nice light, but it produces a tremendous amount of heat. It only has a limited 2,000 hour life and uh, they're delicate from a vibration point of view. But it throws out a pretty good amount of warm white color balance. The 100 watt light is uh, 40,000 or 20,000 uh, 40, hours or 20 times the running life of the halogen plus a much lower running cost of course in, in watts. It's a cool white balance and it's not bad. It's about 7,000 lumens compared to the 9,000 of the halogen. For the price I think I might go buy another one. Thanks for watching.